in this house and we approve the National Health Insurance Formula every year. In the National Health Insurance Formula, we make provisions for the procurement of these vaccines. The speaker, we realize that these releases have been done and yet we don't have, we don't have vaccines in this country. Mr. Speaker, it will interest you to know that we have not less than 10 vaccines and most of these vaccines are being sponsored by Gavi. And we are supposed to sponsor only 300%. Mr. Speaker, and only three, we cannot buy the three. If we are asked to buy the 13, can we buy the 13? Mr. Speaker, the president on this floor of the house said that we had recorded no death. The minister also repeated on this floor that no death has been recorded. Mr. Speaker, that is again palpable falsehood. Mr. Speaker, according to the Northern Regional Pediatrician at Tamale Teaching Hospital, Professor uh, Anum Al Hassan, Mumin Al Hassan, Mr. Speaker, he says that we have recorded about five fatalities. And what is even worse is that, Mr. Speaker, we cannot even get reagents to confirm tests at Noguchi. This is the state of the country. It is the state of the country. These are facts. We cannot even get reagents to confirm tests, hundreds, if not thousands of test, uh, samples that have been sent to Noguchi. Mr. Speaker, we have been told by the president when he was complaining, just like me, he was whining and lamenting about the issue and he never provided any solution when he appeared on the floor of the house. Mr. Speaker, on Saturday, we heard that Ghana has taken delivery of some buses, but what they didn't add was that these buses were coming from Nigeria. Mr. Speaker, these buses were coming from Nigeria. Of course, I have absolutely no problem if FDA confirms that these are good vaccines, but Mr. Speaker, the bigger question is that how come Nigeria has excess vaccines and we don't have? How come that Nigeria has excess vaccines and we don't have the vaccines? Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I think that we should not even have gotten here in the first place. That will last us only six And, Mr. Speaker, more to the point, six weeks. the vaccines that we are taking delivery of can only last for six weeks. So we should not be making noise that we have come out of the situation. We should rather, Mr. Speaker, be thinking about how we can get more vaccines to save the vulnerable babies in this country. Mr.